Hey, it's Rocket Rolls coming at you from the great gorgeous Prince George's. And this is a special video. We are going to do a commute, of course, but um, this is my 2000 mile review of my 2020 Africa Twin standard version that's the CRF 1100 and I haven't quite hit 2,000 miles yet I'm at 1999 so we partying at the moment but um I expect to hit 2,000 I'm gonna stop and grab some gas so um, probably be at 2000 at the gas station and as we gas up I can tell you what kind of mileage I got for the 2000 miles I can um, give you my thoughts on the motorcycle um, a lot of the questions that typically come up are questions about the weight questions about the power um, questions about the electronics how does the bike compare to the previous Africa Twin, how does it compare to the CB500X, how does it compare to the BMW GS1250, the KTM 1290, you know, all those questions that people ask, I'm not going to answer them because I don't know, Kevin rode all those bikes, rode some of them, not all of them, um, but overall, Let's see here. It is mid-July. I have had this bike, uh, when did I get it in? March? Late March? Um, three, seven, four months. So I've had the bike for four months. Um, I've put 2,000 miles on the bike in four months, which, you know, is actually pretty decent. So I must like it because I'm riding it. And, you know, and that's with, you know, the pandemic. I have not been commuting to work every day, which I was doing much more frequently on the CB500. Yep, we hit the 2000. There we go. Woohoo! I might actually do some editing on this video. Put some special effects in there for y'all. But, um... Yeah, so... Like I said, um... I've been putting a few miles on here. Not bad. So, as you just seen, one of the things I like best about this Africa Twin is the stare effect. You get those long pauses, people checking it out. It's a nice, tall, elegant bike. So people like to check it out when you're out and about. Um, we'll check the fuel in and stuff when I reset. I like the fact that I can put 87 octane in here because it is a Honda parallel twin with a 10.1 compression ratio. So it doesn't need the premium with gas prices where they are as you can see i'm at royal farms they're charging 309 for the regular right now 370 for the super i could have got some gas cheaper i started to go to costco but it was kind of out of the way so i just went ahead and came here um but as you know modifications wise i have the rear seat alt rider um, rack on there and then i put my shad um case on that um, I did get the taller windscreen. I have the hand guards. When, they're just the wind protectors. They're not the um, the bark busters. I didn't get the bark busters yet. Um, I really wasn't that empty, I guess. Yeah, the one thing I like least about this bike is that the gas gauge is very much off it starts reading empty after like three gallons when in reality you still got a couple of gallons left 
and um I'm not gonna bother with the receipt that's the one thing I like the least about it is the gas gas gauge is off but you get used to it and um we're gonna do some resets so we can see what we really did get here gas mileage wise for this 2,000 miles um at first I was worried about the height of the bike and it's kind of it is top heavy um, but you get used to it. It's very well balanced. It's very smooth. Nice, strong, powerful engine. Um, that 1084 cc, 270 degree parallel twin. It's extremely great engine. I like it a lot. Um, you know, some people they prefer V twins and four cylinders and such, but I'm more of a um, parallel twin guy. So let's see here. Um, let's reset. That was just 164 miles on that tank and I averaged 49.7 miles per gallon. Uh, just under 50 miles per gallon on that tank. I used 3.3 gallons. So a little under 50 miles per gallon. Okay, we'll reset that. Let's look at the overall 2000 miles. I have averaged 44.5 miles per gallon at an average speed of 29 miles per hour. And my consumption has been 44 gallons. So 44.5 miles per gallon. That is not great, but I can honestly tell you, I haven't really been doing a lot of road trips and such where you would get the better gas mileage. Why am I in user 2? Put it in urban. Urban to give me a little more power. So, <clears throat> gas mileage wise, we're doing about 45 miles per gallon. Um, power wise, it is great way better power than the CB500 on the highway which you're going to see me get on in just a second but as you can see here there's really no problem controlling it in the slow parking lot scenarios I just posted a parking lot video earlier this week um nice balance I like this the seat height is good I didn't like the seat height on the older Africa Twin which was one of the reasons I was hesitant to get it and I jumped on this one when this one came out because I like the seat situation a little bit better it is adjustable I keep it in the higher setting um I've tried in the lower setting and maybe if I were doing like some really long touring I might be interested in the lower setting but honestly I kind of like it's, it's better on my knees with the higher seat so you know and then you think well maybe if you were off-road you might do a lower seat and I don't think so I don't really take the bike off-road that much um, and if I did I'm not likely to really do any like single track or anything on it it's just it's a big bike it's five over 500 it's 500 pounds 498 or whatever and you know I'm gonna put some stuff on here so we're over 500 pounds um, it's, it's a big bike for off-roading and you know I have no hesitancy to take this bike on a dirt or gravel road not a problem um, no problem taking it on the highway I don't mind commuting in the city on it it's a great all-around bike but I really don't I don't see myself really using this as like a dirt bike it's just not gonna happen I'll probably do the BDR on it but you know the BDR is really all roads and I don't think I'm going to take this bike on the TAT. I think when me and Nicholas do the TAT, I'm going to take a lighter bike, a 300L or a T7. Something, one of those two. The T7 weighs about 50 pounds less than this. 40, 40, 50 pounds less. And the um, 300L weighs like 200 pounds less than this. So... That's going to be the approach for the TAT. I love this bike on the road. I love it on the highway. 
I love commuting on the bike. These are ideal situations for it. Um, I like the tall seating. Uh, like I said, the gas mileage is decent. It's not what the CB500 was, of course, but you know, you more than doubled the capacity on the engine, so. That's what, which, what should you expect? 45 miles per gallon is decent considering the way I ride. Um, I have the manual transmission, you know, the, I, I really strongly considered getting the DCT. Um, I probably will buy a Honda DCT in the future, but I think I'm gonna hold off till I get a gold wing before I get the DCT. Um, I don't really think this is my forever bike. I really like it. It's a great bike for me right now, but I got a feeling, you know, at some point I'm going to switch off. I think when I'm actually, because you guys know I don't have a garage. When I get the garage and I can actually store multiple bikes, I won't have as much of a need for this bike because I'll be able to get a bike that's a sports tour and a bike that is a dual sport and an electric bike as a commuter. And when I, you know, two or three bikes can all specialize in each of their areas, and then I don't really need the Africa Twin. And here you see I'm on a highway. I'm not going that fast right now. It's traffic. I usually don't commute this late. But, um, it works well commuting. And like I was saying, you can see, I can see over the cars. And that's one of the things I like about riding an ADV bike in the city. You know, I think I did a video on riding ADVs in the city. And yeah, that's a pretty good video. It's actually one of my better videos now that I think about it. Um, what else? What did I say y'all usually ask about? Y'all ask about the seat height. You ask about gas mileage. You ask about comparisons. Everybody wants to compare, compare, compare. Man, I don't know. I mean, definitely more power than the CB500X. Not as great as the gas mileage. I, I, I would say they're still equal as compu commuters. Because um, there's kind of some trade-off one way for the other. Um, I think what you get for this on the highway, you, you give up from the gas mileage. Because you know that CB500, I could push push that and sometimes get 70 miles per gallon out of her. Oh, do we want to take the city route or the highway route? Uh, let's do the city route. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, anybody else out there? Do you have an Africa Twin? Are you thinking about an Africa Twin? This is where I'm going to do that piece. I don't like it when folks do this. So, you know, tell me what you like below. Comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell. Man, y'all better not click my bell. You would get getting pinged all the damn time with some little lazy commuting ass videos. You know, I don't mind you subscribing. I mean, sure, if you want to subscribe, but... I wouldn't be clicking the bell on this channel. Because all it is is me rapping and commuting. But, you know, subscribe, comment, click, comment. Tell me what you think. Do you have an Africa Twin? Are you thinking about getting an Africa Twin? Um, what kind of bike do you think I should get next? Because I'm always itching for another bike. Tell me what you think. A um, couple of things I'll say. I love having this um, rear seat alt rider plate. It worked out great. I have not yet installed my center stand. I have not yet, you know, I haven't changed the oil. I hit 2,000 miles. I didn't do my um, oil change. I'd be in trouble if I wasn't riding a Honda. But I am going to try to get the oil change done this weekend. And we'll see what the oil looks like when I change it. Rocky rolls over and out. <laughs>